Aloha mai kako. Welcome to Hula. My name is Kumu Kanoi and this is Halau Napua Hala Kunoi Kekai. We're coming to you live from our home here in Nu'uanu Valley on the island of O'ahu. This is my son, Eames Kalaniakea Williams. And yesterday was a big, big day for two reasons. Number one is it was my birthday. So that was pretty fun. Um, but I got the best gift ever, which was Eames got his first COVID vaccine. Yes. Yeah. So we're very, very excited to hopefully get back out there into the world soon. Maybe come and see some of you folks, because I know that we have Hula Ohana joining from all over the world. Be sure to let us know in the comments where you're joining us from or how your day is going. We always love coming together on Saturdays. Eames told me, I thought you're going to take the day off on your on your birthday. And I did yesterday. But today is a new day, so we're back again. Um, we'll do a short little hula today. And um, yeah, so I think it's time. Aloha ho my welcome back. Every Saturday we start our classes the same way. We're gonna do a little abridged version of what we normally do on Saturdays um, today, but we're going to start the same way that we always do, which is with our anthem, Hawaii Pono E, which was written by King David Kalakaua and Henry Berger. We have our Hi Hawaii, our Hawaiian flag, and we're going to do all three verses today. So make sure you're standing up tall if you're able. Kuiluna palikekua means your back is straight like a cliff. Mahina kealo, shine with the brightness of the moon. Hawaii ponoi, pa. Hawaii ponoi, na na i komoi. Kala ni ali i ke ali i makua la ni e kame ha me ha e na kawa e pale me ka i he Hawaii i po. Na na i na li i na pua muli ko na po ki i makua la ni e kame ha me ha e na kawa e pale me ka. Ihe Hawaii Pono I E Kalahu I E O Kau Hana Nui E U I E Makua La Ni E Kame Ha Me Ha E Na kawa e pale me ka ihe. Mahalo nui for that. We will put our flag away. Now, one of the things that we always like to do at the beginning of our Saturday classes is say aloha to everyone who's joining us who has put in some comments or let us know down below um, where they're joining us from. And Uncle Luke, my husband, Luke, he is working really hard to try and get all of your comments on screen. So we're going to 
give a little shout out to those of you who have said aloha. I got to get my reading glasses on now that I'm so old. So aloha to Angelica in Germany, Coco Coco in Mexico, also to Anahi Serrano. I'm not exactly sure where Anahi is from, but nice to see you. I hope I'm not butchering your name. Maybe from Italy, Anahi. Um, Let's see. We also have Sherry K in Oregon. Aloha, Sherry. Thanks for the birthday wishes. Leila from Germany. Barbara Underwood Wood from Kailua Kona. Aloha, no. Linda Kraus in Pennsylvania. We also have Regina Weiss. Aloha, Regina. Nice to see you. Carol Ann Buckley. Aloha. She's in Florida, right? Is that correct? Uh, and leslie case in clearwater florida we have lots of floridians joining us so we're so happy to have you folks joining us um Barbara is asking if we're on YouTube today. So I think we're still trying to get that hooked up. Barbara, thank you for letting us know that we are not live there. Our hope is to eventually be able to go live on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram all at the same time. But, uh, you know, this is our side gig. <laughs> this is our, our, our hobby. So we're still trying to work out the kinks of that. Thank you for letting us know that we're not quite all up and running on YouTube yet. So we will do our best to get that going for you. I know some of you count on that so thanks for your patience with us at this time we're gonna do our oli aloha and we have actually been learning a longer form of the oli aloha so i'm gonna put the words up here on the screen um, and this one is written by Kumu Pilahi Paki. And a lot of us are familiar with these first five lines at the top. And that's sort of the short version, okay? So let's just do those first five lines as we know them. And we'll end with aloha right there. And then I'm going to go through the bottom part a little bit slower, okay? So here we go. Oli aloha, pa. Akahai na Hawaii. Loka hia kulike Olu olu kamana o Ha a ha a ko kulana Aho nuya lana kila And let's all say aloha aloha very good so this week i wanted to go just into this next little section here that some of us haven't really learned it's that second part of the chant so aloha mai na hawaii just means greetings to all the people of hawaii and all of the people who love hawaii so that line goes like this aloha mai na hawaii it's kind of kind of slides over mai na hawaii no really breaks in the voice aloha mai na hawaii try that line with me ready go aloha mai na hawaii good the second line here ke aloha no kau mea nui means love is the most important thing for you okay so it says ke aloha no kau mea nui try that line with me ke aloha go Ke aloha no kau mea nui. Very good. Then, e o mai na Hawaii means we call out to the people of Hawaii. Okay, so e o mai means call out, and then e na Hawaii means all you people. Okay, e o mai, try with me, go. E o mai na Hawaii. Very good. Now, na pua, lei, na mamo. That's talking about the flowers, the lei. And the mamo is actually, so it's a, it's a metaphor. Na pua le na mamo is talking about the children, the adults, the kupuna, everyone addressing every generation of people. Okay? Na pua le na mamo. There's a little break there. Try that line with me. Ready? Na pua go. Na pua le na mamo that's it okay so that's a chunk that we're working on today aloha mai na hawaii ke aloha no kau mea nui e o mai na hawaii na pua lei na mamo try that little section with me and then we'll move on to something completely different ready ala uh, sorry aloha mai pa aloha mai na hawaii ke aloha no kau mea nui e o mai na hawaii Na pua lei na mamo. Very good. Okay, so we'll build on that bit by bit until we get this whole thing cracked. 
At this time, we're going to Noho Ilalo have a seat on the ground. Here we are. <laughs> so um, we're going to do only one prayer today, and that is our Hawaiian doxology. And um, we actually know two different verses of this. One, of course, is the one that was translated by Hiram Bingham. Um, and the second verse was written by a dear friend of ours who unfortunately has passed away already, Kumuhaunani Bernardino. So we will do both verses of the Hawaiian doxology. Please join us in prayer. Ho'onani. Ho o na ni ka ma ku a ma ke ke ki me ka u ha ne no ke a ku a ma ho o mai ka i pu ko ke a. Nui for that. Thank you for doing that prayer with us. Okay, so today, since it is our birthday weekend, we're going to do a little bit of a abridged class today and next week too. Um, next week's class is actually going to be pre-recorded because we are going to be camping to celebrate Luke's birthday. So just a heads up, we're going to do a class today and then we're going to pre-record next Saturday's class. But we hope that you will join us nonetheless. We might even tune into our own class, but we're just not going to produce it live, right? Um, but thank you for everybody who's joining us live. I did see Carol, um, Caroline Buckley. I, I, I messed that up, right? You're in Rhode Island instead of, I think I said Florida. I'm sorry. I got to work on getting everybody straight, but I'm so happy that you joined us. Thanks for being with us. Right now, we're going to pop right up and ku iluna and, oops, sorry, boom. Okay, so our our hula for today is a brand new one that we're starting for the month of November, and it is called Kahaku Loa. Can you say Kahaku Loa? Yes. Kahaku Loa is a place on the island of Maui, so the Valley Isle of Maui. And we wanted to show you a little picture of, oh, hello, here I am. A picture of Maui Island. So Maui, of course, um, has that small part of the island and then the larger part of the island. So if you look at that little, the, the little part on the top, that's where we're talking about. And that light green section, that is Kahaku Loa. So it is on the West Maui, uh, part of the West Maui area, and it is pretty remote. It's hard to get there. You see, there's only that one little road that drives out there along the coast. And so Kahakuloa is a little um, village out in West Maui, and it is um, actually, you know, it's a simpler way of life there. It's not overrun with tourists and, and um, all kinds of people living there. It's kind of like the same 20 families that have always lived in Kahakuloa. That's who lives there now. Um, and it, the name Kahakuloa um, refers to, yeah, that's another beautiful shot of Kahakuloa if you look right up into the valley. The, the name Kahakuloa, Haku means chief or leader. So Kahakuloa, some people say means the tall or the long chief. Loa, of course, meaning tall or long. But the word loa can also mean far, as in a far distance. So some records that I looked into say that the chief of 
Kahakuloa actually didn't live in Kahakuloa. He lived over on the other side of Maui. And so it was named for the chief that was a far distance away, the distant chief. So Kahakuloa, that is the name of the place. This song is pretty, um, you know, a pretty standard song. It's traditional, meaning we don't know who actually wrote the text for this song. It's that old that we don't know who the composer is. Um, but it is definitely a classic. Classic. And so let's take a look at the words for the first verse. There we go. So there's only one verse in this song, and there's only one chorus. So right here, you see half the song right here. Um, and then when we learn it, we are going to be learning it with hand motions and feet motions, and also with pu'ili. So can you go grab pu'ili so we can show them what pu'ili are? Pu'ili, of course, are one of the hula implements that you learn, and it is the split bamboo. So Eames is modeling the pu'ili. Um, pu'ili, of course, are a percussion instrument. You're going to hit them together, so hopefully our mic levels will be okay. If you don't have pu'ili today, don't worry about it. You can just use your hand pu'ili, right? These are kind of like the the slats of the pu'ili and you can just use your hands like this i know i didn't really tell everybody to bust out the pu'ili today if you have pu'ili at home great if you don't don't worry about it this week we're going to be learning this verse of kahakuloa with pu'ili and then next week we will learn the chorus of kahakuloa with pu'ili then the following week we'll learn kahakuloa with hand motions and then we'll learn the hui the verse no the chorus with hand motions and that'll be it for november then it'll be thanksgiving and boom december here we come okay so i'm gonna go grab my pu'ili so i can join in on this and we can actually get rid of the words for right now so i learned to use the pu'ili from my kumuhula le momi i maldonado and one of the things that she would always do with hula pu'ili especially standing modern hula pu'ili is she would use this same choreography that i'm about to teach you for almost every song so this choreography that i'm teaching you she would use this for nani vale na hala ea ea same choreography she would also use this verse come christmas time for kanni kanni pelle kanni kanni pelle kanni ma o ma ane e that's jingle bells in hawaiian right um she would also use this in the in the implement medley so when we dance all of the implements together pu ili i pu uli uli she would use the same choreography so uh, pros and cons of that pros well let's talk about cons the movement of the pu'ili for this song doesn't describe the meaning of the song when we get to the hand motions um in two weeks then i'll tell you the meaning of the song but for now we're just kind of keeping time keeping cadence making some rhythm that fits with the verse Okay, so that's a con maybe is that it doesn't match the, the meaning. The pros are you learn one pu'ili number and you can dance them all. <laughs> so, so this is sort of what I would call the stock pu'ili choreography from my kumu le momi i maldonado. So I hope that you are excited to learn this. This is a classic, something that I grew up with. It's sort of like, okay, check the box. You got the pu'ili, now you're ready to rumble. Okay, so... The pu'ili, make sure that you're holding them properly. There's a part that's solid and there's a part that's split. I'm going to come a little bit closer so that you can see the details of this. The pu'ili, of course, is made of bamboo. This particular set that I have here is actually made in Taiwan. If you have a Hawaiian pu'ili, good for you. I have a couple of pairs, but I'm scared to use them because... <laughs> I want to keep them in pristine condition. So I'm going to use my Taiwanese bamboo right now. Uh, bring your hands out in front of you, and you're going to cross them at the top third of the bamboo. That's it. Very good. Yep. Yeah, don't worry about right, left, whatever. Okay. And so the most basic thing that you're going to do with the pu'ili is you're just going to tap. Yep, so you're going to tap one pu'ili on top of the other. So this is what I would call the tapping motion. Yep. And if you can, use your right hand to tap. If you're left-handed or you're dancing backwards like Eames, don't worry about it. But you're going to tap one hand on top. We're just having fun with it. Okay. 
and stop right there. Okay, so that's a tapping motion that I would say. The next motion is called the roll. So you're gonna take your pu'ili and you're gonna flip your wrist. Try to keep your elbows still. That's it, flip, 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 and flip. Very good, hold this for a moment, will you? If you're using your hands, you can just tap this way. Or you can roll, 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 just like that. Thank you, my trusty assistant. Okay, so let's try the rolling. Ready? And here we roll. Roll, two, three, four, five, six. Go back to tap, 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 and stop. Now, the basic vamp in the pu'ili is going to be three rolls, and then you're going to Turn the pu'ili out towards your outer sides of your shoulders. Now, Eames reminded me that I am a really evil person choosing to choreograph this today because he just got his shot right there in his arm. And then I'm telling him to whack it with a bamboo. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so... <laughs> Anyways, if you notice that Eames is hitting it on the top of his shoulder, this is not the recommended place to do it, but it's because he's in excruciating pain. No, just kidding. It wasn't that bad. Okay, so let's try the vamp. Three rolls and then to your shoulders. Ready, go. A one, two, three, shoulder, two, two, three, shoulder, one, two, three, shoulder, two, two, three, shoulder. Okay, so that's the vamp and the most basic kind of move that we'll do. Okay, so now let's jump into the actual choreography. You'll get it as we go. So to start off the choreography, we're actually going to bring our hands cross overhead. Okay, so you're gonna tap one time overhead, then you're gonna bring it to your shoulders. Oh yeah, sorry. And then you're gonna go down and then to your shoulders. There's a lot of shoulders in this, sorry. Up, shoulder, down, shoulder. Okay, so that's the pattern. Up, shoulder, down, shoulder, up, shoulder, down, shoulder. You're gonna do that eight times. Up, ready? And here we go. One, and two, oh no, only four. Three, and four, and stop right there. Okay, so that's the beginning part of the dance. Shall we try one more time? Ready, and here we go. Oh, who o kahaku loa e kapuale hu. That's it. Okay. Yes, he knows what's coming up. So, kani means to sound. So, this is about the only thing that matches the, the words. Kani no na pua yamanu kalkini. We're going to do the vamp. So, three rolls and then the shoulders. Two times. Ready? And here we go. Kani no na pua yamanu kal. Okay. Shall we put it together with the up shoulder, down shoulders? Yeah. Ready? And here we go. Oh, who o kahaku loa e kapuale hu. Roll. Kanino na pua e a manu kau. Good. Kokini. The next part is going to be up shoulder, up shoulder, up shoulder, up shoulder. But don't move your shoulders. You're going to use your pu'ili. Ready? Here we go. Up shoulder, up shoulder, up shoulder, up shoulder that's it we're halfway through the verse so what let's slow it down we're gonna go all the way from the beginning ready up shoulder down shoulder ready set here we go oh roll and shoulder up shoulder that's it good maybe okay let's add some feet to this okay so for ohu okahakuloa we're going to do let's hold our pu'ili across our lap like this so that they're not flopping around too much we're gonna actually start with a kala kawa step so take your left foot and turn it out to the side your right foot is going to cross in front two times and turn to the other side so we've done this motion a lot with just a single that's called an o step but this is called kalakawa so you're gonna do double on both sides ready and here you go other side and front 
Okay. One more time, just the feet. Left side turns out. Right foot's ready to go. Ready and right foot goes. Ohu, okahakulo, ikapualehu. And front. Okay. After that, we're going to spin around to the right because we're young and we can spin and our knees are not sore yet. But if you are like me and they are kind of sore, you can actually just kaholo right and left. You don't have to spin. Okay. So, but we're going to give it a, gra a go. We're going to spin around to the right and spin around back to the left. Ready and right. Spin. Kanino na puia manu kau. How was that? Good. Okay, let's try from the kawakawa facing to the side. Left foot is planted. Right foot is ready to go. Ready, set. Here we go. Ohu, okahakuloa. Other side, lehu. Ooh, uh, and spin. Kanino na puaia manu kau. That's it. Kaukini. You're going to lele four times. That means step four times but instead of going forward or back we're gonna lele ka'apuni which means around in a circle so we're gonna start turning this way first one two three four yes yeah, so you're just turning around in a circle okay ready stepping this way go one and two and three and four that's it so you're turning your right shoulder first is gonna go okay ready step right foot here we go right and left and right and left by the way he's amazing and he's mirroring you so if you're wondering if he's doing the right thing he is you do your right foot we'll do what we do okay ready and here we go around and around and around and around okay so now let's try from feet only turn out right foot goes at ohu okahaku and spin. Kanino na pua ia manu kau. Right, left, right, and left. That's it. Are you ready to try it with hands and feet? No? Too bad. Okay, ready? We're going to go up, shoulder, down, shoulder. Very slow. Ready, set, here we go. Ohu, okahakuloa, other side, lehu, and spin and roll. Kani no na pua ia manu kau kini. Hey, nice job. That was good. He's learning this for the first time right now, too. So give him a round of applause. Okay, try one more time. Ohu. Ready and a little faster. Go. Ohu. Okahakuloa. Kapualehu. Wa. And spin. Kani no na puaia manu kauki. Ni. Yay, nice job. Okay, um, at this time, I'm going to play you the music because it's really fast. And if you, sir, would like to opt out, that's totally up to you. But I think you can get it. But I don't want you, you know, I don't want anybody to feel like, ah, I have to get up to speed now. This is why we're learning it slowly. And if we want to just do it without the music, you could try with the music, just the hands, with the music, just the feet. In fact, I think we should do that. But listen first to how fast the music goes. This is modeled after the Naleo Pilimehana version of the song that came out in 2002, quite a few years ago. But this is how it goes. Whoa, that is not. This is modeled after. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That is a echo, echo, echo. Sorry about that, my gangies. Okay, let's turn off this. Remove. Wow, that was really exciting. That was not what I thought was going to happen right there. Okay. Okay, can they hear that? 
Can you hear that? It's this fast. It goes like this. Okay. You see how fast that goes? It's fa it's fun. It's fast. Okay. So let's try just the hands with the music, okay? Is that okay? Uncle Luke, is that okay? Okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so you can opt out. You can opt out. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try it one more time. Just the puili. I know you're thinking, what was she thinking? That's why we learn it slow. Okay, so here we go. Here's I'm really torturing him with the hitting of the arm <laughs> business. <laughs> Just the puili. Ready and go. Okay, so now the trick is just the feet. Okay, so rest, rest the puili, and we're gonna do just the feet with the music. Okay, ready? Face this way. Ready and right foot goes. Back, forward and spin. Spin. Walk around. One, two, three, four. Hey. So for those of you that are using hand pu'ili, we're going to try it hand pu'ili and feet, meaning don't use sticks because you might poke yourself in the eye right now. Okay, so we're going full speed ahead, hands and feet. Ready, go. Up, shoulder, down, shoulder, up, shoulder, turn. Up, shoulder, down, shoulder, up, shoulder, spin. Walk around. One, two. So now let's pick up our pu'ili and we're going to leave the track for a moment. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm yelling, but there is a lawnmower right outside the window, which is making me crazy, but I don't think you can hear it, which is amazing. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to just do it with hands and I'm going to sing it, slow down version. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Kahakulo ea and turn. Ohu o kahakulo a ikapuale hu wa and spin. Kani no na pua ia manu kauki ni. That's it. I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's a lot. Don't worry. That's all we're going to do today. I just decided we're going to just put it right there because that's a lot to take in all at once, right? And we'll save the next little bit for next week. That's how she hooks you every time. Keep on coming back. Okay, let's try it again. Slow. Kahakulo, this is the intro. And turn. Ohu o kahakulo a ikapuale hu wa spin kani no na pua ia manu kauki ni. That's it. Okay, I know it's hard because it's puili plus feet plus face and everything. Just be thankful. You don't have to sing the words while you do it. Okay, shall we try once more? A little bit faster? Okay, for the intro, when you get kahakulo, we're gonna start with a vamp. Ba -da -da -dum, e -a, get ready. You know what I mean? Okay, here we go. Kahakulo, vamp. Kahakulo, here we go. 
Ohu o kahaku loa ika pua lehu, ika pua lehu a Kani no na pua i a manu kauki Ni Yeah! So in the choreography that my kumu does with pu'ili, that's actually one whole verse. So let me just show you how that works, okay? So you can do that choreography with me, and I'm going to show you with other songs. Are you ready? Here we vamp. Da 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 Nani vale? Nani vale na hala. E a e a spin. Oh, na we ike kai. E a e a. That's a verse. You see? You just learned two songs in one. Ready for three? Let's do Christmas. Let's do jingle bells. It's going to work. Watch. Ready, set, here we go. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! And then you do it again, jingle bells. You know how the song goes, right? That's it. So that's what I love about this Pu'ili choreography is it fits, it just fits. Every song you want to do with Pu'ili, just bam, you got it right there. Okay, so now let's go back to Ohuo Kahakulo. This is going to be it. We're going to do it one time with me singing it slow. We're going to play it one time with the music. And then you got a lot of practice to do. Okay, here we go. Kahakulo ea, turn to the side. Ohu o kahakulo a ika pua lehu wa. Kani no na pua ia manu kauki ni. That's it. Okay, we're going to try it with the music. And then you're going to practice. And also, you got to find your pu'ili. I know some of you have it packed away somewhere, hidden for good keeping, safe keeping. So you got to bust out your pu'ili for next week so you can dance with us. All right, here we go. From the tippy top. You want to try? Good luck. There's two kahakulo. Who recorded this music, anyways? It was me, I'm sorry. I recorded it. Kitobu, yeah. Kahakulo. Kahakulo. Get ready. Kahakulo. Get ready. Here we go. Okay, we are going to end our short little hula session today with our favorite way to end, which is with poi balls. So if you have some poi balls, go ahead and grab them up. We're going to do this. Uh, of course, this is not hula. This is um, from our friends over in New Zealand, Aotearoa. This is hokey, hokey. Let me pull up my music. Music. Where are you, music? Where for art? Thou music. Okay. I really wish I had pulled that up ahead of time. Ready? Here we go. Hoki hoki toru fa. All right. So thanks for being with us today, this first week of November. We have lots more hula coming to you. Maybe we can show the calendar. Do we have the calendar that we can pop up? There it is. <laughs> Thanks to our ladies who have been joining us for Poli Ahu. Um, we also have our, of course, our Saturday hulas that you can join us for. We have a new Zoom class opening on Fridays and Saturdays starting November 19th. And that is going to be for Christmas hulas for our keiki. So if you have keiki that would like to join us on Zoom, whether they're here in Hawaii or anywhere else in the world, let me know. We would love to have a few more Kiki join us. 
December, we'll continue with some of the same and a little break when we get to Christmas and New Year's. That's it. Very good. All right. So I know that's a lot. Maybe we can get rid of this calendar. Okay. So today... We had a lot to cover with Pu'ili. The replay of this will be available hopefully right after this, so you'll have lots to practice. And then next week, Saturday, we will be putting out the next little section of Kahakuloa with Pu'ili for you to learn and practice so that when we go live the next week after that, then you can be with us ready to rumble. Okay? Sounds good. Thank you, folks, for coming to Hula today, for celebrating all of our birthdays with us. We really appreciate all of the birthday wishes from all around the world. It just made me so happy, made my day, and we're ready to go continue the celebration. So thanks for being with us. Until next time, practice hard. Ahuiho.